A Mobile, Alabama name. Uh, Who? Don't say no cap, bitch. Though. No Ooh. cap. That's his name. It, what is he? Is he, he is he ops or is he homies? He's I don't know. Is he ops? He's a. Now why that nigga gonna go say that in the song? And no, he ain't in mobile. You gonna leave your little partner down here to get man? Yeah, that yeah, shit bro. me up. That shit really eat at me. You feel me? Yeah. You niggas ain't been through what I've been through. For me. I found my grandma when I was ten years old. You feel me? Oh, you know what I'm saying? Robbed and got robbed, shot and got shot. You feel me? I'm talking about you ain't been through this shit. You feel me? Uh, the first person that like that was close to me that had got shot, she ain't died. It, it was my sister. Shit, you know that shit went. That shit went in at the top of my foot. Hmm. It traveled through my whole foot and went out my heel. Oh shit, really? Yeah, so it broke like two or three bones right here. You feel me? Hmm. Breaking news in Southwest Atlanta tonight. In just the past 90 minutes. Police telling Channel 2 someone fired shots during a recording for a music video. This all happened at a scrap metal business. And they said everyone scattered, took cover, ran. Some people heard 20 shots. Others told me maybe even more than that, up to 30 or 40 shots when uh, they believe it was multiple people firing as a group came in here during the... Ayo hey, squad, what's the drill? Back with another video, man. You know Mobile, Alabama has been shaking something up these past couple of years in the rap game. And now another person that's been making hella noise is finally getting a bit of love, OMB Peasy. You know, OMB Peasy seen it all, from prison to being a main suspect charged for shooting up Roddy Rich in 42 Doug's music video, allegedly. But many don't see him giving back to the community, trying to provide better for the kids, using his music to send a message to the youth. He's underrated, but that's changing every day. This is the life of OMB Peasy. So without further ado, let's skip the play play and get down to business. Born in the little neighborhood of Orange Grove, Mobile, Alabama, LaParis Dade, AKA OMB Peasy, didn't have anything to his name but his family and life. Coming up, it was rough. And at as early as eight years old, he experienced some horrific things. Peasy was one of them right in the room when his homie Joe was playing with a shotgun and accidentally hit himself in the head. Put the all. Uh... He, that motherfucker long as so that motherfucker like right here and he put his toe, he pulled the trigger with his toe, but he pulled the trigger, he like, he like, I bet you that motherfucker ain't gonna go off like I seen one here, you feel me? Boom, that motherfucker go off, you feel me? Jeez. As if that wasn't traumatic enough, his experience with gun incidents at a young age didn't end there. He also had to go through his cousin getting taken out by his best friend and his sister getting shot, but thankfully surviving. Uh, the first person that like that was close to me that had got shot, she ain't died. It, it was my sister. Trish facts. OMB Peasy grew his locks out to honor his cousin's passing, cause he always told him to grow dread. Oh my nigga died. I just grew my shit up. Mm. Yeah, so it's know. it's in memory of him. Yeah, yeah. I see. Mama Peasy was behind bars and his pops was taking care of him. When she got out, it was time for a change and she took Peasy and moved to California. In Peasy's mind as a kid, bro was hyped thinking it's about to be Batty Central and palm trees and living free, no longer running through the grove with his woes. But he got a U-Haul van with 13 hours of driving. And Boom, so we stayed up for like an hour or two. Everybody get in the back of the van. Yeah. I get in the back of the van. Yeah, we driving. They think I know we been riding for like... 12, 13 hours. And just like that, Peasy was now in Sacramento, California, starting from scratch. Mama Peasy, after some struggles, got him into a shelter. For some, this might be a harsh change, but for a man like OMB Peasy, he was already familiar with the shelter settings, being in one back home in Alabama before. So to Peasy, he was in Cali, and he was going to embrace the opportunities from the new life. Yeah, yeah, that, that wasn't the time I was in the shelter, though, you feel me? Like, I didn't... I've been in a little uh, Penelope house. They call this shit the Penelope house and Mobile and shit. And so that shit wasn't really nothing. It was just, I was more happy than being in a different, like, you feel me? I don't want cause you know, a nigga I ain't never had shit, you feel me? I wasn't tripping out, not having shit. I'm all the way in California, nigga. I'm gonna make something happen. Mama Peasy had the same mentality, go-getters. She went to school and started doing nursery care for the elderly to try to provide. People tried to drag Peasy into gangs, but he was his own man and stood solid. It was in SAC where he got part of his name. Residents couldn't say his name right, so he just shortened it to Peasy. And OMB, AKA Only My Brothers, is what him and his homies created. My name is OMB Peasy. It came from when I had came to California. Uh, I ain't like how people say my real name. Cause how they feel me put, they pronounce words and shit, you feel me? So I just told them to call me Peasy. And then me and my niggas that I had met when I had came to California had started this little shit called OMB. 
So I just put that shit in front of my name and ran with it. OMB, what does that stand for? Only my brother. Soon realized how bad off his life was in Bama when he saw how kids in Cali were living in stable homes with toys and all that. Ready to level up his paper, Peasy adapted to this new environment, hitting licks like it was his favorite hobby. Since high school, Peasy was putting beats on students and jacking their iPhones. So from early on, the cops already knew him as a menace. Right. Were you uh, getting in trouble all through high school and shit, or were you kind of yeah, keeping yeah. your nose clean? Yeah, yeah, I was. I was done. What kind of shit? One jail and shit like we used to be, we used to be beating niggas up and taking their iPhones and shit. You know what I'm saying? That what I had got caught for, you feel me? The original Sticky Fingers, Peasy, was stealing everything from clothes to golf carts. Bro was getting it any way he could, but his stunts landed him in and out of juvie. Peasy was a menace to the law, giving hell and going on the run from all the POs. Been fighting cases and been on probation. Kids and cases been, and then on probation, I've been on the run and shit like, you know what I'm saying? I ran from, I ran from my POs and shit. I ran from every PO I had. The rap sheet was stacking up during them teenage years, but one situation knocked some sense into bro. His criminal activity escalated until Peasy found himself in serious trouble for strong armed burglary and assault. Luckily, the charges were reduced to theft with misdemeanor battery, but it left him with seven years probation. I stayed on probation. Before I just got out probation, I was on probation for seven years. What's worse, around that time he got locked, his shorty was near giving birth and his son was born while he was on the inside. Peasy could have been present, but around that time she was pregnant, Peasy got jammed up with the law and he was able to bond out, but bro went right back to the shenanigans and got locked up again for having a pistol. Wasn't able to bond out? I bond out and then I got caught with another Oh. So they kept my ass and no good. Mm -hmm. So now Peasy had to figure out what the hell to do with life to provide for his son. When old girl was pregnant, he tried the nine to five at a warehouse, but after a day, Peasy dipped. Shit, I tried to work at a well, I, I couldn't do that shit, bro. I showed up one day, then did the next day, then never came back. School was out of the question, too. Peasy already dropped out of ninth grade because at one point he was moving around and ended up in the A with his pops. Every school was teaching something different, so Peasy ain't know what the hell was going on, so bro said screw it. The school matching bro energy said screw it, too, and kicked him out. Peasy had a decision to make continue in the trenches to provide for his son and risking losing his freedom or his life, or pick up the mic and channel his life into a music career. He already had a passion for it. Since eight, he was writing raps, and by 12, when he moved to Cali, he recorded his first song in Mama Peasy Boyfriend's studio. So now, it wasn't tough to make the decision to pursue a music career and step away from the streets. He loved his son too much to not try to give him a proper life different from what he lived. On August 31st, 2016, Peasy got on his grind and dropped off his first official video, a remix to Kodak Skrilla, and bro, talent was undeniable. The flow, the bars, the vibe, Peasy had it. From there, Peasy kept with the heat, dropping his breakout banger, Layout, less than a year later in the streets and industry was tuned in. He linked with the Bay Area legend E-40 through his mans. Peasy flew out to New York and started his meetings with labels. He would first sign a distribution deal with 300 before signing the E-40. At the time, though, Peasy didn't know how much Mills dude was making off their deal, and he signed for 20 bands to E-40. What made me realize I should have waited with the record deal got there? I'm seeing these niggas that signed for millions and shit, straight directly to labels and shit. One million, two million, three point four, all this shit. I signed E-40 for $20,000. Peasy learned a hard lesson about the difference with the streets and the industry. The industry might smile and be buddy-buddy, but their motives are always purely negative. Looking back, Peasy wished that he could have waited about six months before signing the deal. I tell myself to uh, be more patient, though, because I rushed into a lot of shit, like signing and shit. I wish I would have waited at least like six more months or something. Peasy learned it took a mature route, though. Deal had already passed, so he got up out of it and kept moving with no hard feelings. Peasy was out here touring with T Grizzly and them, collabing with King Von, dropping his EP Humble Beginnings, and went on to be doing something even bigger and turning up rolling loud performances. The blessings were pouring in and bro deserved it. Peasy even started diversifying his fame doing the cooking show Hood Essentials. Hey, that on be Peasy. Today we finna be making Peasy's famous steak case of deal. I first tried a steak. It's like a street dude star repping the benefits of a better life. The past lifestyle always gets a hold of him. 
On March 2019, Peasy performed at the Soul Kitchen in the hometown of Mobile, Alabama with Bootsy headlined. But at the after party, Peasy got into it with the ops and when he dipped outside, the ops caught him lacking and let the hammer fly, shooting him in the leg. Oh, I had got shot. Sure. Yo, I had got shot uh, at the club, fighting in the club and shit. With so many rappers being lost to gun violence, fans were worried. And PZ posted pics updating that he was good and a clip after he was hit acting like nothing was happening. Just a regular day in the life. The bullet went through PZ's foot, breaking a couple bones. That shit, you know that shit went. That shit went in at the top of my foot. Hmm. It traveled through my whole foot and went out my heel. Oh shit, really? Yeah, so it broke like two or three bones right here, you feel me? Hmm. Yeah. Yep. On BPZ got over that hurdle, but the losses kept coming. He would lose his homie Tato, who got shot, and his grandmoms. Both losses impacted PZ heavy, because those was his people. I saw, um, you had this new video that was uh, like a rest in peace song for your friend Tato. Yeah. Can you tell us uh, how he passed and, and sort of what he meant to you? Like, got done, he had got shot, you feel me? That was, that was like my little brother, you feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? PZ rep both of them in dedication songs in Street Made Me and Miss Louise House. It was a rough road, but PZ kept walking forward. Then the next time we know, Beef was at the door waiting. PZ was on the Community podcast and had to get something off his chest. According to PZ, him and a fellow rapper in Alabama named No Cap was cool, but he started being on some divisive type of vibe, saying that PZ wasn't from Alabama when PZ was the one trying to unify the hood. So he let it be known that No Cap a B and said that he gonna pipe down Cap's moms. A Mobile, Alabama name. Uh, Who? Don't say No Cap, bitch. No Cap. That's his name. It, what is he? Is he, he is he ops or is he homies? He's I don't know. Is he ops? He's a bitch. Don't know Cap got a brother. I don't know. You know Cap got a brother like a, a rapper brother? I don't know. Or he, no? I don't know. He got a mama. She fine as a. Oh okay. shit. Well then. That nigga mama fine. Oh, so this is real. That set things off between the two sparking the back and forth. Under a post on PZ IG, no Cap hopped in the comments coming at PZ. Finishing it off with a picture of his own with the caption, they leave it in the interviews, I leave it in the streets. The two worked in the past releasing the song Demons and Peasy even did music with NBA Youngboy, who no cap is signed to. So it's crazy how they started button heads like this. The two stopped sending jabs at each other. Hopefully that means that the beef won't go any further or turn it into something that's crazy. It don't really need to be that way. Peasy had more coming his way still to overcome though. February 21st, 2021, news broke that someone allegedly slid on Roddy Rich and 42 Doug at a music video they were shooting at a scrapyard on Wells Street in Southwest Atlanta. Three people were injured due to the attack. Luckily, no one was murked and Roddy and 42 Doug were safe. Next thing we know, the most unexpected news would hit the net. OMB Peasy was locked up as a suspect in a shooting and was expected to face charges for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon in possession of a firearm during the commission of a crime. This time, like other times in the past where footage was released, Peasy stood on the code he believed in. Bro was solid, never talking, never ratting to the police in the interrogation room. Peasy would bond out, but he had to wear an ankle monitor and surrender his passport and had to check in 14 days before he intended to travel for approval. After a year and a half, the case would finally be dropped in August 2022. Peasy was a free man. Peasy been doing his thing, staying far from any trouble and continuing to drop that heat on his fans. His latest release is his DJ drama Gangsta the Grills mixtape, Misguided. OMB Peasy been through it all and came out with the W. He took losses and made hella mistakes, turning to pills and drops to coke, but it made him who he is. He got the talent to leave one hell of a legacy on the mic and growing and learning the instruments. He gives back to the community from free haircuts for the kids every year to showing them a better way. Tell me what you got going on today, man. Oh shit, we giving out free haircuts to the kids and shit. The first 50 kids will come get free haircuts. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He doesn't just make music, he actually puts meanings and messages in his music to inspire, motivate, and touch the lives of those that are going through it. Let's see where his journey leads us. Until next time, Stay smart, stay alert, and stay real. I'm out, y'all.